Hi guys, welcome to our Blurdy channel. My name is Sofia and today I'm gonna tell you more about Blurdy, a tool that helps you track, analyze and convert your visitors into buyers. So let's go! The first thing you would see when you go to your profile is the dashboard. Over here you can find the summarized data, which is collected by the Plurity tools, and for more detailed information you have to go to each tab separately. So let's go to the SEO Checker tab and then go to the SEO Page Analysis. Actually, this SEO Checker tool has 0% server load, simply because it automatically checks the pages which have at least one click on them, so only the pages with traffic. Okay, well, as usually, to your left you would see the filters and to your right you would see a chart. Let me choose the date. Do I want to sort? Okay, let's take all devices, hit apply and let's see the results. Scroll down, here we are. So we see that there is the analysis for us. First we see pages with errors, pages pay attention to and pages without errors. In our case we have the pages with errors just one. Well, that's a good sign. And over here you see the information for the mobile and for the desktop separately. And for the mobile simply because of the mobile first index. Then when you scroll a little bit here you see the report, SEO audit and report words analysis. So two reports. Let's go to the first one, SEO audit. Over here you choose between mobile or desktop. In our case that's going to be desktop. And then we see such things as parameters, previous data, today and status and of course the web page we're checking. So for the previous data you can actually uh, compare the information for the previous period just to see whether the mistakes in the past have been solved. So with the uh, green color it means that everything is good in our parameters. So now we see that title is good. Okay. What about the red circles? The red circles show us that we have some problems in the description, so there is no data. In H1 content there is no data. Okay, that's something that we need to fix. Then let's go to the words analysis report and over here we're gonna check the general semantics of the web page, so the text statistics, right? Same thing, parameter, previous data, today and status and let's see whether we have any red circles here. Okay, yep, here we are. So the words with mistakes in symbols, the parameters, and now we have a list of words that we have to solve. Okay, cool. Well, also you can export the data to the Google Spreadsheet. Nice. Then let's go to the Google Search Console. So for the Google Search Console, you have to uh, you have to run a short setup before. In our case, you see that because of the fact that we didn't have our API configured, we have this synchronization error. Then we just go to the settings and we solve the problem. Or you can always go to the how to use a very detailed step-by-step -step instruction and follow those steps to. Um, integrate the Google Search Console. But basically what you will have to do is just in the in your account, in your console account, you will have to add the Google API Plurity email. Then as soon as you do that, hit on the refresh data and then you would see information for the query, page and device. When we talk about the page, over here you would basically see the information about what the Google Search Console has and what your page is missing. So for example, over here you would see the keywords that are present in the Google Search Console and are absent on your page. Okay, and then let's go to the SEO settings. So over here you can actually add the pages of your website where you do not want to run the SEO checker. So you see over here disallow for collection data from pages. Okay. And in case you have your website which works on the framework, on the, on the GS framework, you can choose, you can go here and then go to the I have a site on the GS framework and the information will be saved. In our case we have a regular site. Okay guys, that's it about the Sarah Checker tool. I hope this video was useful for you. In case you have any further questions, please book a demo presentation with me or you can always write to our technical support team and we will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for your attention and stay healthy. Bye-bye!